afternoon guys what is going on it is Monday afternoon and my gosh does it feel like a Monday whoo but Monday's over finally so we have a lot to discuss here in a little bit um, about a couple different things so number one is if you didn't watch the video where fleece performance was at the Greg a garage uh, at the end of the video I did say that I do have a discount code for you guys it's 10% off of pretty much almost everything on their website use Greg a uppercase lowercase Greg, G-R-E-G-A, I'll put it right here. Greg A gets you 10%. Very, very limited time though. It's not gonna stay up more than maybe a day, two, couple days, if that. So I think it's very, very short. So if you need anything from Fleece Performance, maybe even just the inlet fittings or something like that, I don't gain anything from this. It's really just to help you guys out. So go over to Fleece Performance, check out their stuff, and just see what they got. Maybe there's something that you guys could use or need or have been planning to uh, purchase, and maybe that just helps you out. So check that out. Number two is that I did add some links in the description below just from some stuff that I mentioned quite frequently and you guys ask about Topside Creeper, where you can find that at, headlights for the first gen, um, just a couple things that you guys do ask frequently, the camera gear I use, um, and, and just some other miscellaneous parts. Oh, the hoods for the third gens are on there. If you guys want, go down, check them out, check the links down below. Everything's down there for some, and I'll try and add some more stuff that kind of you guys always ask about where I get things. Next on the list is, we're gonna, just gonna recap the event a little bit because we got home super late. Uh, yesterday was kind of a very busy day and we didn't get really get a chance to recap the day and we'll, we're gonna head over to John's uh, to deliver his truck to him and we'll kind of go over uh, everything in detail. But from my standpoint, it was an amazing day. I love you guys. Everyone who came up said hello. The support was just awesome. I love meeting and talking to you guys. I really do. Um, it's awesome just to meet you know everyone is different and everyone's doing different things and it's really kind of cool to see uh, you guys who watch and just kind of meet you guys and talk to you guys everyone who supports me the channel everyone on here and, and also the Wrenchworks brand uh, we really do and and I really do appreciate you guys so so much so it's awesome just to kind of meet you guys um, I do have plans hopefully that we can do a little bit more traveling to get out to people uh, who are not necessarily right on the East Coast so so next up on the list is the tow rig, John's truck, the first gen, what they do, how they do, uh, and everything in between. As we know, John did not have such good luck. Uh, I do want to just point out one thing. We don't know, really know what happened with it, what's going on. We are going to have to tear into it and see. John did not assemble this lower bottom end though. He bought that pre-assembled uh, from somebody else and did not assemble that himself, like I just said. So uh, everything that goes into assembling a bottom end with gaps and and specs and everything else, it's, it's involved and there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. And I personally have never assembled a bottom end. There's definitely techniques and there's reasons why people get paid to do certain things. So whether or not trusting that person's uh, assembly was a good choice or not, you know, it is what it is. Uh, John has a little bit more experience assembling more bottom end stuff than, than I do, but again, he didn't assemble that. That's my whole point of getting that across. John didn't assemble that bottom end. So uh, for those guys out here who, anyway, we're just gonna, we're gonna skip past the, the haters. So who cares anyway. The first gen, the first gen you guys know we were working on literally the hours before the event, the day before, um, really wasn't done enough for me to feel confident. Uh, plenty of stuff undone on that. We did throw the different wheels on it, which probably wasn't a great choice either. I know a lot of people were kind of eh about the 22s. I'm kind of eh about the 22s too. I'm not totally, totally sure, but they were off the 05. These are not the wheels that are staying on it. We are gonna put the other wheels back on it. Those wheel, other wheels do clear perfectly, no, no trimming required. So we're gonna go back to those and maybe try and find just a little bit different of a tire option on those other wheels. So I do think we're gonna stay with, you know, a 20 inch configuration on there. That was really just for the show and it turned out to be not a whole great decision at that, but still plenty plenty of more work to do on this we do need to go pick up our transmission our stock factory transmission is just hating life right now the pump still isn't turned up so we we got a lot more the gauges aren't installed there, there's just a list that 
you know, whether or not it would have been even worth it to, to run down the track and run a 20, 25 second pass and not have it dialed in. So that's the first gen in a nutshell. Still plenty more work to be done on that. Now, a lot of comments that I was seeing, the tow rig just doing work, man. Towing this. I mean, I would say each one of these trucks, and I don't know, we didn't roll over the scales, but, you know, I would say on a light side, about 5,000 pounds each, 10,000 pounds for the trucks. The trailer empty weighs about 7,500, so do the math right there. That's how much weight the tow rig was towing, and let me tell you, I wouldn't say you can, couldn't tell it was back there, but it ran just as good as it does with one truck on there. It's a little heavy off the line, but once that thing is rolling, no problems. The weight distribution was actually super, super great right where it was at. And I only have about 20 pounds in the airbags and it literally drove and rode like a dream. I was a little, little worried at first. I'm like, man, two trucks, but the other thing is, look at look at the amount of space that we do not even have. We did have to take John's front bumper off and rear bumper off to even get these two trucks to fit. And these are loose because I just loosened them up when we got home, but there's the gap. And here you can see how much we were on the back of the trailer. So this is a 35, it actually measures total length, about 34 total length from the front there to the back, and it, it barely fits to it. Well, if the bumpers were still on, it wouldn't, it wouldn't fit two regular cabs, which is honestly, when I bought this trailer, I was like, oh, this is 35 feet, plenty of room, especially with the hydraulic dove, but it turns out that we are definitely gonna need some more length, that's for sure. Anyway, the whole plan is for next year, looking forward in the future is, if we wanna tow the first gen, and the 05, there is just no way that they're both fitting on there. So for those of you guys who said there might be a trailer upgrade, you are definitely, definitely correct. This one will probably stay around until uh, we finish up the season with the first gen, getting that to some more races once it's dialed in and done. But after that is definitely, definitely probably going to need a new home because we're going to need probably a 40 footer. So for those of you guys who don't know, the tow setup on here, uh, six, seven engine, six speed transmission, has a clutch, it's deleted, and has a second gen swap with a 467.7, 83.9 housing on it, and has stock fuel. Besides an air dog lift pump, uh, stock injectors, stock CP3, and, and it, is, it tows like a dream. It drives like a dream, tows like a dream. Tunes are from HPP, higher power performance, and the thing just cruises. It, it, tows, it tows this weight. Uh, also, on Tune 5, never comes off Tune 5. EGTs don't even get above 1100, even towing this heavy. And I have nothing but just awesome things to say about how this thing tows. So for those of you guys who are wondering, maybe that'll help you guys out in the future if you have a setup kind of similar to that. But anyway, let's get the day started here. First step is to take the first gen off the back of the trailer. Then we're gonna have to move John's truck back. I'm doing this backwards. John's truck back. Um, and then we'll probably head over to his house, drop, drop his lawn ornament off and talk to him for a little bit, see how he's feeling, see what he thinks for uh, future plans and whether or not he is gonna scrap the scrap truck and maybe we'll start working on the blue truck everybody wants to see or just kind of just kind of see what he wants to do. So anyway, stop talking, start doing, let's go.
Look at what the cat drug in. Look. Oh boy. Here he goes, race truck. It's gonna leave a burnout marks on my driveway, son of a gun. What are you doing here? I had enough of you all weekend. You and your race minivan. He's gonna He's gonna tell me that the best part of the video yesterday was uh, his truck. Take it, she's yours. Take it. Have it all? Have it all. There's a whole lot of paperweight there. Broken, broken, broken. Race, broken, race minivan. Broken, perfectly fine. <laughs> Russell burned so much printer oil racing this weekend that he had to go pick up a fresh tote. So I told him he's not allowed to do a burnout because then I'll have printer oil right on the road. All right, so before we got so rudely interrupted, what I was gonna say is that we do need to move John's truck back on the trailer. Obviously with no weight back here, probably a whole lot of tongue weight that we do not need. So somehow, by myself, I'm not sure, we're gonna try and roll the truck backwards, probably have to reposition the trailer and maybe take some air out of the airbags and then we'll be, be good to go. Alrighty guys, and just like that, we are now back down to one 12 valve on the trailer on our way back to Mr. Sendit's. We are ready to go. Got the first gen moved out of the way. That way when we come back, the trailer can go back in its rightful home. So two things that I just wanted to get out of the way that I get asked all the time as well on the actual trailer, seeing that we're kind of talking about towing and trailer stuff here a little bit. This trailer does have the low pro deck option that is about six or eight inches lower than a normal deck height. You can kind of see it's really tight down there. This deck height is perfect. It is absolutely amazing. I will never ever own another trailer for one specific reason. Boom, boom. Standing on top of the trailer deck with just one step. Number two is that I will never ever buy another trailer that is not a hydraulic dovetail. It is, it makes the world, it makes life so much easier, especially when you got broken down trucks. All you gotta do is back tire onto there. You can have the dove lift up the rest. It's easier on your winch and it just makes life so much easier. It gives you so much more deck height. As you could tell, I would have never ever been able to tow those two trucks home if I wasn't able to stick the back tire literally right on the edge of that. Now, whether that's the best permissible, yada, 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 yes or no, but it got two trucks home and it gives you much more usable deck space than having to fold over ramps on the end of your trailer. So low pro deck hydraulic dovetail worth the money in my opinion. I mean, this is basically a fully loaded trailer except for the electric over hydraulic jacks, which would be nice, but I mean, who couldn't use a little exercise every now and again, but this trailer, low pro hydraulic dovetail, is a must in my opinion makes life so much easier if you can swing it anyway let's close up shop here let's get on the road let me grab my cell phone let's get on the road to john's so we can get home
and here we are again, getting towed in by old Greg A. Because I blew the truck up again. Yeah, this is happening way too much. I think the wind might blow that away a little bit. Where's my rock? Where's my lucky rock? Your lucky rock is on the lucky jack that is still in the back of my truck. So as you can see, John's service truck is no more. It got replaced. Yeah, Johnny's back to work. Johnny's back to work I today. I had a tough day. I had a real hard, hard day. Was it a hard day? No. Oh, okay, I didn't know if you were being no. serious. Or Oh, Daisy said it. Hey, Daisy girl. Hey, Hi. 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 <laughs> Johnny go back to work in a month after he breaks his back. Ugh. So, it's a sad day. Sad, sad day. Not only not only because of that, oh, who cares but because that? of this. Uh, this happens. Yeah. Happens to the best of us. What, this? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. When you push the envelope, what do you expect? Yep. I mean, what are you, you going to do? You crank you know, 800 plus horsepower out of an engine that only made 140 out of the box. Well, at least you look like John Forrest doing your burnout. Was it a good one? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see it. John wanted, didn't watch today's video yet, I or yesterday's be, video. I wanted to come off like a little wimp, just barely spinning the tires, just barely spinning the tires, doing a little burnout. And then get a little more rowdy and get a little more rowdy. And well, the announcer said you like to party, so it's a cool. th thumbs up in that book then. Yeah, yeah, we like to party, that's for sure, especially with the burnouts. I mean, if you look at the back of the blue truck, because we're going to be working on the blue truck. I was going to say, so John, everybody's going to want to know. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's going to want to know. This is an omen. Just me not daily driving this to the track with drag slicks on it like I did all last year. Oh, you're so are we not working on that now at all? I don't know. I mean, i got to steal some of that stuff off the put that engine together to put the blue truck engine together because i want to yeah. get a i actually you're 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 you're, you're diminishing your engine uh oh did i say motor oh no i didn't oh. no but i'm just I, i'm i'm saying the i'm just saying you had like three good cores now you're down oh, to like yeah. two or one and oh. like what are you doing now with oh, that sure, because those sure. are the so you're done with that uh, for now for now I you're just gonna go you're just gonna go back and forth and it's willy the, it's the, well, I really need a waste-gated manifold. Anybody who knows anything about horsepower and drive pressure and boost knows that I shouldn't be running twins with no wastegate. Well, but you would I actually need you would actually need a boost gate and a drive pressure gauge to yeah, actually yeah. even know what to tune that at. So yeah, you need more than just the manifold. <laughs> whatever. So I want to get a gated steed speed. So this manifold would come off <laughs> on just, that engine. <clears throat> Sorry, some throat. What? I'm good now. What did you say? I didn't even get what you choked up on. Oh. Anyway, the billet tappet cover will come back and go on the nice engine. Oh, man. You know, I'll take, I'll rob a couple things here and there. Okay, so you still didn't answer the question. What path? What truck? Or there well, is... Well, we got to rob some of this to get that. So you're going for the blue truck Yes, now. we're going for the blue truck, people. Soon. So race season is winding down, so you're kind of like shifting off of that going to blue truck. Yeah. I've... Because one of those assembled stock... Ish. Short blocks Ish. is going in one of those in that. Yeah, yeah the so you don't have to change the anything. The industrial engine that I have. So the the other thing that I was trying to explain to them, and maybe this will clear the air a little bit about us actually building the engine that just went. Yeah, we didn't. That. Our hands never I, were I, in I, that. We I, we basically were relying on a buddy of mine. You know who, how you know how buddy elite, deals go. Who elite, you know, and we just don't know what's wrong with it either. Right. So, I mean, you know, there's cooling jet could have failed and, you know, it started to seize the piston to the liner, not liner, but the bore and then that cooked it. 
We don't know. Uh, it definitely overheated and locked up shortly after I did my burnout because it was good. It was good in the pit. It was and that's good the thing. In the water you've been box. driving it on the street too. Right. I've it's been. It. You've yeah. been driving it, driving it for like three weeks. Right. With no so, issues, but uh, that was the first time I held any sort of RPM though. Yeah, like full bore down the track, yeah. like full throttle. Yeah. So I mean, you blow it up on the track. It is what it is. It's racing, dude. It's. It's it happens. What's gonna happen? All the best, you know. That's where that's where the power gets laid down, and that's where the carnage happens. It happens to the best of everybody, but so just it just so happens it just so happens that there's a camera on every day that happens yeah. to record all this. So it, it may happen to the best of race teams, but most likely it's not in the public eye like this happens to be. So we're just bringing you guys along, ups and downs. We're not trying to hide anything, but you know, basically trying to get more content for the channel. <laughs> I purposely no, 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 you, no, 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 you, <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you're good, you're good, JK, hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so. What else did I want to try and, I think that's it, I think that's yeah. it. There she is. There she is, boys, back under the old tree. Yep. Yeah. And for Man, those of you guys who are new and just subscribing and maybe followed along from the video about the neighbors idling, there, there is so much backstory to that. We, yeah. we intentionally did not try and do anything, and it, yeah, we're not fun. even going to get into it. But there's yeah. so much more backstory that yeah, we have. As reasonable as like right, we are more than reasonable with the noise and smoke and idling and trying to be reasonable. But mm. that party is the non-reasonable part. So anyway, we're going to get off of that. But yeah. if you are stopping in and subscribed within the last day or two, welcome. We like to have fun, we like to party, and we like to blow stuff up. And we love you guys. I you. I you. I heart you. <laughs> Too much. I was, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm so thankful to be, to be here, to be in this situation. Because I was so close to not being here because... I broke my back. Oh, guys. that's right. There's oh, a lot yeah. of questions about your oh, little, look, your little look, device it's your boy. here. It's your boy, BSI. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Alex, are you I, watching? I don't have a Wrenchworks shirt anymore because they cut that off when I broke my back. Bye, John. All right, I got to go back to Love you, bye. dinner. Huh? I was going to say, I was were you dinner making dinner? I heard, I heard you drop it down to like third and just, Ooh! I was like, ooh, that sounds like Greg. Greg and Scrap Truck going past the window. For like the fourth or fifth time. <laughs> yeah, I kind of know the sound <laughs> yeah. now. All right, guys. I'll see you back at the house. Love you. Love you. Bye. Reason number 73 why I love the light bars on the trailer. Makes backing up the trailer at nighttime, at least when empty, very, very easy. All right guys, back at the garage to wrap up this video. I know this is a little bit more of a update style, catching you guys up, getting caught up kind of deal, returning John's truck rather than working on the trucks like we usually are doing. So plenty of that coming at you, I can promise you that. No shortage of projects, uh, it seems to be. But thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, I really, really do appreciate that. Um, all, all of the positivity and, and the supportive comments and, and everything like that, it really... It, it helps a lot on certain days, uh, this day especially, uh, for no reason. This isn't really the easiest thing to do to put yourself out there every single day and, and read every comment and you know some are a lot nicer than others, but I appreciate all the love, all the support. Uh, again, meeting you guys in person uh, means a lot to me and it, this is not just me talking in front of a camera. I feel like this is a awesome community. Uh, I, I see your guys' comments. I know the people who comment on every video. I know the people who love the channel and, and appreciate uh, what I'm doing and, and trying to help you guys. You know, this isn't just, hey, let's throw some videos out there, see where it goes. I mean, I, I like helping you guys. I like trying to learn with you guys. Um, and, and it's it's a family. It's a family kind of the way I look at it anyway. Um, but again, I'm rambling as usual. But thank you guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully some big, big news coming up. More Wrenchworks announcements coming as soon as some things are finalized. It's going to be awesome, but stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button before you leave. Subscribe if you have not already. I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you.